guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, I'm a little blood blood dizzy. We are actually going to be doing a little bit of a QA. I like to do these every now and then. So anyway, let's get into the questions. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Not you, dickhead. <laughs> If you want to put on a pizza, goodbye, mate. There you go. Have that. Bye. Have a great day. Goodbye, pizza. Pineapple. That's where it belongs. If you put pineapple on a pizza, you're just a slag. To be honest. Goodbye. <laughs> There's just some fucking pineapple in the middle. I spent one pound fifty on that bitch. Have you ever been in trouble with the police for your car modifications? Mama, I'm a criminal! Mama, I'm a criminal! I'm gonna get copyrighted for that because I hit those notes good. I actually did. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Follow me on Instagram. I actually got pulled over the other week, about two weeks ago, I actually got pulled over. My bad, honestly, I sent it somewhere where I shouldn't have sent it. And basically I got pulled over and pretty much the woman was so nice, the police officer was so nice. Pretty much they just told me about the plates and the tint. So I got them both changed. Simple as that. She was honestly so sick, like. So yeah, that was the first time I've ever been pulled. Hopefully the last time I get pulled, but. But yeah, I'm a criminal bad boys, honestly. Girls who like bad boys, I'm that bad boy. I got pulled by the police. Mad, I might get a tattoo across my neck now, like. Chee! <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Literally, when she pulled me over, I was literally like this. Sorry. I was like a little kid, mate. For anyone wondering, my front two were tinted 50% and my rear play was apparently too short. I don't agree, but I took them off anyway and I got bigger ones. Hides the screw marks as well, so I'm actually quite happy. German or Japanese? Or Japanese? I can say it. I can say that because I'm Asian. Come on. Listen. I can say it. I'm Asian. Don't even at me. Right then. So I want to know from you guys, would you pick the German car? The Shroko? Or the Japanese car, the um, Mazda. Which one would you pick, Mum? Which one? The German. Come on, my G. That's what I would say. Bro fist? My G. Of course, there's a massive age difference between these cars, but hopping in the German. Oh, everything is just nice and quality, you know? Honestly, every material in here is nice. It drives literally like butter. If we hop in the Mazda, though. Again, it's actually quality interior, you know, it actually is. It's like cheap plastic, but it looks good quality in here. Like, look at all the leather and everything. Although I prefer the Scirocco, there's a lot more character to this car. Like, I mean, for fuck's sake, look at this, like, nice little armrest bit. Japanese, you dumb bits on this. You ain't only good at making food, you're good at making cars. This thing goes right Bouncing off the rev limiter and it's never broke on me yet. I've only had it like a month, but it's never broke on me just yet Now of course this isn't a fair comparison because of the age difference and one being front wheel drive and the other being rear wheel drive But based out of these two cars, I'm gonna have to pick the Scirocco overall But the Mazda for the driving the Mazda is just ten times more fun to drive because it is rear wheel drive But other than that the Scirocco wins overall. It's a win-win <laughs> What's one piece of advice for your younger self? Have fun. Loosen the fuck up a little, man. Break the fucking law. Do dumb shit, man. Life is short. Have fun. That's it. But another piece of advice I'd give to anybody, as well as my younger self, really, is enjoy your own company. It's a very cliche and cringe thing to say, but you've got to love your fucking self, right? You are the only person who will ever be there for you. You are the one person you are with 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year, until the year you die. If you do not love yourself and enjoy just being on your own, right? Start there, right? Where's my point going with this? I don't know. I don't know. If you love yourself, you want the best for yourself. If you hate yourself, well then you hate yourself. You're not gonna do the right things for yourself. If you love 
who you are and you enjoy being in yourself, I don't know what I'm saying. You'll conquer the earth, mate, if you love yourself. That's all I'm trying to say. That's a new piece of advice I'd definitely give to anyone. Be okay in your own company because there is a lot of wars you would have to fight alone. Is rear wheel drive easier or harder than you expected? So if people didn't know, this MX-5 is a 100 brake... What? 180 brake horsepower rear wheel drive. Not to go! It's lit! If you have all of the safety controls on, like the DSC on, it is, you can't... It's a very safe car. Your bloody grandma has one. But once you actually turn off traction control off and all the stability controls, it's dangerous. If you jab the throttle just a bit too hard going around the roundabout, your back end is kicking out. So this exact experience has actually happened to me. Traction control off, DSC was off, and I basically like clutch kicked it basically by accident or changing up to second on a roundabout. And literally my car went from this to this very, very quickly. And you have to catch that car. If you do not catch the car, you're spinning out and crashing into the roundabout. Now this is on private land and it's not my dash cam, but pretty much you go around the corner a bit too quickly, it jabbed the throttle and this is what happens. My car's facing that way, or their car's facing that way, mate. <laughs> Imagine doing that unintentionally when you're just cruising along listening to music. But overall, I would say it's easier to drive than I thought. As long as you're not upsetting the balance of the car, you're good. You're Gucci. I've had two drift day experiences, and I keep saying that not to flex on anyone, but just purely to mention that I have had experience in rear-wheel drive cars. I know so many people have gotten into a rear-wheel drive car and crashed. Dead ass. So yeah, guys, be safe. Love ya. Drive safe. Now, while we actually answer the next question, I would of course like to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Car Vertical. They are a massive sponsor of the channel. So anyway, let's get to the next question. What are your plans for the MX-5? Now, if people didn't know, I actually used Car Vertical to make sure that this car was perfect before actually buying it. Because as you guys know, most sellers are not always honest with the buyers. So this is actually my project car for the channel and it is going to be a drift car. That is the whole project for this car. Turning this into a drift car and taking it on track and drifted it. Because at the moment, I don't know really how to drift. I've drifted twice, but I can't maintain a skid. I'm really a beginner at drifting. So that is why I bought this car, to rag it about on track, learn how to genuinely drift, and turn myself and this into a bad boy drifting machine. So pretty simply, this car is going to be my track toy. We just need to fix it up, and then we need to start modding it out. And we're gonna get down and dirty with this bad boy. I'm excited, but mainly drifting series and track. But yeah, guys, back to Car Vertical. Car Vertical is actually a used car history jacket that scans through an entire car's history to pull out all of the information you need to know about it. So I'm gonna quickly show you a report I found for an amazing BMW M3 I found online. So I just took the registration or VIN number from that car, put it through Car Vertical, and it produced me a report. And here it is. Straight away, we can see that there is no mileage fraud that was disclosed by the report. Sometimes what sellers will do is they will actually reverse the mileage on the car to make it appear to have less miles on it actually does so that they can sell it to you for more. If we actually scroll down, we can actually see Car Vertical's super simple mileage graph that literally shows us if there is any dips in the mileage to showcase the mileage being rolled back but there is no dip, so it looks all good. This vehicle is not wanted as stolen. Car Vertical also checks all of these different countries' databases to make sure it's not wanted as stolen. There is no record of having outstanding finance. However, we can actually see that this vehicle was damaged. If we actually scroll down, we can see all of the damage recorded from the crash. And the Car Vertical is so in detail that it literally gathers pictures of the damage from different sources such as car auction sites and look at that damage, that's a massive crash. So you might be stood in front of a perfectly looking BMW M3, however it might have once looked like this. That's a dashboard, hold on. 
like this. Now, if you guys are interested in getting peace of mind before spending your hard-earned money on used cars, click the link in the description and use my discount code TOS for money off your purchase. Anyway, let's get back to this Q&A. Do a road trip to Scotland, or should I say Scotland? That's quite good, actually. I have actually already got a Scotland trip planned to say farewell to the Scirocco. I've got a quite a cool idea where we've got different challenges as well as different like destinations, etc., etc., for this video. But pretty much, we are actually going to be doing a Scotland road trip before the Scirocco goes. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. Trust me. What's the asking price for the Scirocco? Oh no, I'm gonna get roasted. I'm literally, you know like those pigs, right? That you shove a spear through and then you like ro hog roast them or something. That's literally gonna be me. When I say this price. I just want people to hear me out, okay? And let me know truthfully, is this price too high? Is this price too low? But all I wanna say, right, is this Scirocco has been kitted the fuck out and it has been on a journey. It has been on the wildest journey, all being filmed, all on YouTube for you to watch and for future generations to watch. It has been to the likes of the biggest companies in car modifications, Cobra Exhaust, DKU Performance, RTMG, Forge Motorsport. So it has had the likes of the biggest companies in the UK working on it. And quite obviously, it's got a whole lot of modifications done to it, including a 1,500 pound Pandora alarm system that will come with the car with a remote start. Uh, uh, who doesn't want a remote start their car? It comes with that exhaust that you don't even want to know how much that cost and so on and so on, right? This car ride, right, you cannot pull up to a petrol station without somebody freaking out. Whether they watch the channel or just some crazy car guy or work van, work van, work people, builders love this car. Whether you have a footballer behind you on the motorway or a granny, they are looking at the exhaust, they're looking at the car. This is what I personally believe this car is worth right now as it stands because I'm currently in the process of talking to raffle companies where I could potentially make double what I'm asking from these raffles if it sells out. So I could make double what I'm asking right now going to these raffle companies. So the price I'm asking for is to buy out any of these raffle companies. As much as I want to do a raffle on the car, if it doesn't sell out, I lose a lot of money. That will affect the next car and the whole channel. So hopefully you guys understand, it's a lose, kind of lose situation for me here. But the asking price right now, right this second, if somebody came to me with a deposit of 90% of this, bank transferred, before they even come down and look at the car, it would be literally around 13 and a half grand. That's my asking price for the Scirocco. I don't think it's too unreasonable. I really don't. It's already spec'd out from stock, plus all the modifications, plus the history behind it, plus how much attention you get in it. That's how much I'm asking. If somebody genuinely did a 90% deposit or full deposit even, paid the car, that car would be leaving me this week. No doubt about it, no doubt about it. But if nobody approaches me with that price, then of course I'll continue um, going to these raffles and hopefully we'll make more than that off the raffles because the more money I make, the better the channel will get. It's a car channel, it runs on money. Let me know what you think. What's your favorite video you have made? I think my favorite video was probably my 100k video because that honestly was crazy. I rented a track completely on my own, brought the Scirocco and the Corsa down and raced against each other. It was flipping lit. Imagine just having a track completely to your own where you can make as much noise as you want, go as quick as you want. You could skid about and it was so fun. And yeah, just to compare myself in my room filming Minecraft videos to renting out tracks, it was just nuts, I think. Of course, for you guys, I'm just a YouTuber. YouTuber, but I was a normal, normal, normal guy at one point. And just imagine yourself right now renting a track to have your cars on there. And just your cars. It is bonkers. What's your MOT result? I recently just took the Scirocco in uh, for its MOT. The MOT is a massive scare for like modified car owners, but pretty much the MOT passed. The only thing that were advisories was the exhaust fell down, which I'll fix now. And there was an oil leak, but pretty much the oil leak I remember now was because I left the oil cap off like a dickhead and the basically oil just exploded out of it. Holy shit. I was wondering, why is my car being all funny, revving on its own? It's the engine. Blood, I left the oil cap off. 
So there's basically oil around the turbo now. It's just because it exploded out. Literally, they, those were the only advisories. No suspension or nothing. I try and take care of my cars. I try not to hit too many potholes as well. If you ever are behind me on, right on the road, I'm literally just zigzagging through all the potholes. But yeah, I was actually surprised um, that it passed. Like Purely because I thought like some of the bushings might be going or bad. So that saved me a lot of money. I can tell you that. But yeah, guys, unfortunately... That is actually the end of today's video. If you would like to get involved in the next Q&A, then click the link in the description. Do my Instagram or follow me on Instagram at the underscore other stuff. Send me a message uh, and I'll try and get back to you and say hi. But yeah, guys, um, massive, massive thank you for all the support. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's Q&A. And yeah, anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see your lovely faces in my next video. Wow.